Hello, uh, just go. Welcome back to you today. We are back in Green North on the video. Before we jump into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you never sell on future uploads just like this one. So, in today's video, we are going over five of the best ways to get rich in Greenville. So, make sure you stay to the end to learn all these tips and ways to get rich in Greenville because they surely did help me get rich. I mean, I know, uh, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so the first best way to become rich in Greenville is to drive below 55 and 60 miles an hour. This is because Greenville wants you to roleplay instead of just going high speeds and getting into multiple crashes. You guys see that So I was going over 100 miles an hour and I only made $500 and that isn't the best. I mean, I think overall if you drive slower, you might actually get some more revenue. So... Yeah, we're gonna drive around for a little bit, see what my next paycheck will be. All right, so under probably a minute or two, we actually made 600 bucks, which is way better than the last time we made some cash, which was like 400 bucks. So overall, we did do a little bit good we're going like 55 miles an hour even if you guys want to just go ahead and turn on your cruise control and drive around greenville with the cruise control on at around 55 to 60 miles an hour but yeah if you guys want to make some extra cash in greenville make sure to drive below 55 and 60 miles an hour in greenville and also if you guys do see these traffic lights i'm pretty sure you can just run through them i don't think you have to stop at them so yeah i guess that's the only law you get to break you just can't break the road speeds but yeah and i almost paid 700 bucks for that long that's actually pretty good all right so the next way to become rich in greenville coming in at number two is to become a postal worker and drive the van to get money all right so here we go you guys want to go ahead and join a job here you guys want to go over to the gvps worker you guys want to go and click it and you guys want to select the job and there you guys go now you want to head over to the location to pick up your packages and things like that or the pickup bay so you want to drive over there well i'll get back to you guys whenever we do arrive at the pickup location i don't think you can drive your regular car for this job so you're gonna need to get the postal van so if you go to your garage or my garage you guys can actually see the job vehicle let's go ahead and spawn the job vehicle and you want to back it up i think or or just go forward oh i don't like that why not and there you guys go you're now getting your packages and there you go. Now you need to head over to the location they want you to do start delivering. Alright, so we actually have all of our deliveries just on this road, which is pretty cool. So you guys just want to stop here. You guys can actually just go ahead and do E to confirm it. And you guys made 100 bucks. Uh, that's actually pretty cool because you make $100 per drop-off, which is really sick overall. And also is a very, very good way to make some extra cash in Greenville. So, because if you don't like driving, I mean, this is kind of driving, but it's like you're doing something interactive instead of just driving for no apparent reason. So, as you can see, we just did three houses. We have made already 300 bucks. All right, so we are now dropping off our last. We are dropping our next delivery here. And there you go. And they also wanted to go to another location, which I'm not going to do. But yeah, that's basically how the postal job works. Um, you get cash every delivery you do, which is pretty sick. Which I think in that whole route, I think I made around $800 to $1,000 if I'm 100% sure. And the next way to get Richard Greenville is to join the fire department team. Yes, another job for you to do in case you don't like the GVPS worker. So go ahead and join the Greenville Fire Rescue Team. And you're probably wondering... Oh, never mind. I'm in the ground. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm under the map. Okay, so you guys want to go ahead and put on your uniform. It's not, you don't really have to, but overall, if you want to, we'll just role play. I'm just going to go and put my uniform on, and there you guys go. I look cool. And yeah, you guys want to basically go to the fire location or the fire icon, and you guys want to put out the fire. That's basically it. Alright, so we're now pulling up to the fire, basically, you guys want to get out your fire hose, and you want to go ahead and spray the fire. Uh, I think it's on the other side. Okay, there it is. Okay, you want to go up to the car here, and you want to start spraying. You guys will actually see in the right corner, you guys will make $15 every time you put out a fire, which is kind of not the best, but overall, you make it every time, which is pretty cool. But overall, I don't think it's the best 
way to make some cash in green though because you only get 15 bucks which i'm pretty sure every time you put out a fire and it leads up to maybe i'd say 200 to 300 bucks i'm not really sure but yeah i'd say this is not the best job i guess you could say but overall if you want to make some extra cash in green well go ahead and do it because it is worth it all right so coming in at number four is to try not to buy and sell vehicles as you don't receive much back once the vehicle is sold and this is a legitimate fact so basically well there it is right here the gv system just said vehicles sell for 87 percent of their original buy price so make sure you're buying what you want so yeah that's basically what i'm trying to explain is basically you don't get all your cash back whenever you do sell a vehicle and this is why you should keep or less sell vehicles or don't really buy vehicles as much unless you are actually gonna drive them for apparent reasons because i've actually made a lot of like mistakes with this because like usually i only buy vehicles for role plays and then i sell them right off i usually sell them right after i'm done using it and i don't make a lot of money back and i'm just i'm preventing myself from getting to five million cash in greenville and overall i do regret selling vehicles but overall if you guys want to take the risk go ahead but overall try not to sell vehicles because you do not get the 100 percent original price of the vehicle that was the buyable price and yeah otherwise let's move on to the next tip and the next tip is interactable jobs yes you guys want to go ahead and join an interactable job and you guys are probably wondering where interactable jobs are so you guys want to go over to the job selection you guys want to go ahead and look at the jobs so everything in red is an interactive job we have bulk we have burger night we have burger hoss we have gps worker we have green fire department we have the quick dollar worker and we also do have the twist my favorite job is the bulk price food store worker and get this if you guys actually do join the team you guys can actually go to the job and you guys won't have to actually wait for people to get there. You guys can actually serve NPCs. You guys can actually see if we actually go ahead and pull up here. You guys want to go into the bulk. You guys want to go over to the desk area. And you want to go ahead and, yeah, just stand in this little zone here. And you guys have to wait for NPCs. And you guys already see one NPC has spawned in. And you guys want to go ahead and scan their items. And there you go now you want to do the change as you guys can see i made 80 bucks on my first round and here's me buying some groceries and if you end up do failing what their changes you end up getting 40 bucks which is pretty cool overall so overall this is a really really sick job if you want to work by yourself listen to some music while you do this it's overall a very very cool feature and overall something you can do by yourself in case you don't want to role play with friends sometimes and you just have a private server and yeah and the final tip i have for you guys is to select a job to receive a paycheck every five minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the job selection page it doesn't have to be an interactable job i'm pretty sure you guys can actually go ahead and click a job you guys want so i'm gonna go ahead and do the al insurance agent and now you guys can just, just drive around for a while and wait for five minutes to receive a paycheck i'm pretty sure oh there's my first paycheck and i had to five minutes uh i got 650 bucks my first paycheck and my next paycheck will arrive in five minutes so i actually did not know you could just get your paycheck like that which is actually pretty sick but yeah that's basically how it works just go ahead and select a job in greenville right whenever you join you don't have to role play just select the job and you will receive a paycheck every five minutes whether that be 600 to even 800 dollars let's go on to some bonus tips all right so my first bonus is roleplay in roleplay servers or with friends the reason i say this is because you're required to roleplay in roleplay servers overall greenville really wants you to roleplay and that's how you make at least 700 dollars every time you drive below the speed of 60 miles an hour and that is why i added this as a bonus because you guys can actually join roleplay servers I know not a lot of people can join roleplay servers, but it doesn't have to be a roleplay server. You can roleplay with friends. You can go into a public server if you really want to. If you guys are wondering what the best GVRP server is, it's OGVRP, aka Official Greenville Roleplay. I always have a link in my description down below, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out Official Greenville Roleplay, it's in the description down below. 
All right, so my final bonus tip here, which I really don't recommend, but if you really have the Robux and you want to spend some, go ahead and purchase some cash. I don't do this, so I wouldn't really know. So if you guys go to the shop here, guys, I should go to cash. You guys can actually go and purchase some cash. But yeah, that is really going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you ended up enjoying today's video and it helped you a lot, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe and comment. But yeah, make sure to go ahead and like the video so this gets spread out to others because I know a lot of other people are trying to figure out how to get rich in Greenville. And well, this is probably one of the best tutorials on how to actually become rich in Greenville. So yeah, if this did help you guys out, let me know in the comment section down below and yeah otherwise i hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you guys all in the next one